Hello everyone. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how you can use Microsoft Excel to figure out how long it takes uh, for some number that you have in the present uh, to get converted into some desired number into the future when the annual interest rate is given to you. In other words, how long it takes or you're interested in how long it takes or how, what is the value of T such that a present value number gets converted into a future value for a given interest rate. So let's take a look at this question. Uh, let's suppose uh, that the banks are paying an annual interest rate of 5%. The question is asking you, how long would it take for you to double your investment? Now it is probably helpful for starters to see what are the inputs that are given to you and what is being asked for. And so in this case, you're being told that the annual interest rate is 5%, so the value of R is 5%, so you can write this as 5%. And you're being told that you are interested in doubling your investment. Well, let's suppose that you have a thousand dollars today then basically what you're interested in is, you know, when will it become equal to $2,000 or double of that? I just chose 1,000 arbitrarily. It doesn't have to be this. It could be 100, in which case you choose future value equal to 200. As long as the future value is twice that of the present value, you're fine in this case. Now, the question that is being asked is how long would it take? Uh, for this to materialize. And so if you notice in the context of this equation, three inputs are given to you, the future value, the present value, and R, and what you're being asked for is T. Fortunately, there is a nice function or formula in Excel called NPER, which stands for number of time periods. And so if you invoke this formula and open the parentheses, the first thing Excel asks you is, what is the interest rate, the rate? And so you'll say, well, that's this guy right here, 0.05%. You can enter that manually or you can just give the cell reference. And then you press comma. Now the next thing that Excel asks you is the payment. In this question, there is no payment. Uh, payment in Excel basically stands for when you are making regular payments or you are getting a regular stream of cash flows, uh, you know, every time period. Uh, so payment would be something you would... Uh, uh, want to take care of if you were, let's suppose, depositing 1000 in the bank every year. Uh, but that's not happening. You're just putting in something like $1,000 today, just one amount, and then you're interested in when it, when it, when is it that it's going to become $2,000 or twice of that. So main point, ignore the payment number. Now, the next thing is PV. That stands for present value. In the present, you have $1,000. Now, here's the key. You want to enter this as a negative uh, because uh, you are going to be putting in money. So money is going to be leaving your pocket. It's going to be an outflow. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to do negative one, and then I'm going to multiply it by this guy, this 1000 right here. This ensures that the present value that gets entered here uh, gets entered as negative 1000 because 1000 is going to get multiplied by negative one. Uh, then you press comma again. The next thing is future value. And for future value, we know that we want cash flow of twice this coming in. So I'll just press this. And that is it. Uh, you can ignore type for now. This, this, this we'll talk about in, in another video perhaps. And so now when you just do this, 14.21, and this is the number of years that it will take for 1000 to become 2000 or 100 to become 200 or 50 to become 100. This is how long it will take for you to double your investment. And so in Excel, uh, calculating the number of time periods for a question like this is pretty straightforward. Just use the equal to uh, NPER function, which stands for number of time periods.